Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great bargain price Class A motorhome from Parkway RV Center. Folks, I've got probably one of the best buys on the lot I'm listing online today. This one's going to sell very, very quickly. It's a 2003 Itasca Sunrise model number 34D. It's 35 feet long. It's got two power slide outs, both with awning toppers. It's built on the very, very popular workhorse chassis. It's got that big 8.1 liter Vortec V8. Only 65,000 or 64,291 miles, excuse me. It's got a 5,500 watt Onan generator. Runs great with less than 600 hours on it. I'm going to tell you, folks, for this, if you're in looking for a double slide RV at a budget, you're not going to beat this one. Of course, this is built by Winnebago Industries. So you know it's top notch quality all the way around. A task is their upgrade premium series it's all fiberglass exterior including a no maintenance fiberglass roof generator runs great i've got it running right now it's got the driver's side door it's got the allison transmission no delamination exterior looks great now folks this is a 2003 model it's not a 16 so it's obviously not going to be a new one it was new 13 years ago it never will be again, but we're going to make sure everything functions on it like it's supposed to so that you've got a nice 2003 model when you purchase this RV. But like I said, folks, we obviously can't make it new for what we sell them for, but we will make it a nice 2003 model. It's got the wireless backup camera system, heavy-duty trailer tow package. Both slide-outs look great. Got one little dink little not even really worth mentioning right there but other than that folks i don't see any dents dings or scratches on it full heated basement this is a four seasons model you know 35 foot's a, a a good medium size class a you know it's not too big not too small i mean i drive a 38 footer myself so this one's a little smaller than what i'm used to and it's great for a couple or something for the whole family to sleep in. You know, it's very well insulated. As you can see, for the year, for a 13 year old motorhome, this striping and finish looks great. A DSI water heater, heated power mirrors, of course, workhorse custom chassis, 340 horsepower, folks. That is the most powerful gas motor you could get in 2003, was the workhorse by GM Chevrolet. That 8.1 liter Vortec. We're going to make sure the awning's in great shape. Of course, good thing about the roof, you don't have to worry about that. It's all fiberglass. There's no maintenance up there. Open the door. See, the power steps work great. Everything in here is original. I like the fact that somebody's put some battery disconnect switches right here. The Perco switches, which is a lot more dependable than the little switches of the toggle switches they put by the door for cutting off your battery when you store the unit as we step inside here folks you can tell this is a nice quality unit real corian countertops you know winnebago is known for their quality I've, I've owned two winnebagos myself and that's what i currently own and the one thing i love about winnebago is they build 80 percent of their own parts in factory so in other words it doesn't matter what year model your Winnebago is. Chances are they've got the part for it. Whether it's an 03, a 13, or a 1983 model, you can still get just about any part for these Winnebagos. Try doing that with other brands. It's not going to happen. Uh, both roof airs are ice cold. The motor at home runs and drives great. We just drove it 250 miles in. Um, which really says a lot and we're not afraid to drive this thing anywhere in the country in other words if you want us to deliver this rv as you can see the backup camera works we'll deliver it anywhere in the united states my guys don't have a problem driving it since we just drove it 250 miles in we know it's a good motor home mechanically both front seats are the soft leather flex steel captain's chairs they both swivel for party seating it's got the hwh hydraulic leveling jacks and like I said, it's got the uh, many nice features up here. That driver's side door is really nice. It's got a power window, heated power mirrors. Show you some of the features about Winnebago. Of course, your radio can run off engine or house battery. So if you're parked at the campground, you don't want to turn your switch on to listen to some music. 
you just flip it on house battery. Coach heater, that's a neat feature. Uh, what that is, is it's only for Winnebago products, and I've got the same thing in mind. What it is, when you drive a motorhome down the road, roughly about 80 to 90 percent of the heat from your engine is wasted. So what they designed is a system that you can heat the rear bedroom just off the engine heat so you got a nice hot you know if you're using it in the winter time or if it's cool outside you don't have to run your furnace you can keep your bedroom nice and nice and toasty and another side effect of this is they actually wrap the ductwork around the water heater so you get a free pretty much a free tank of hot water because you don't have to run your propane or your electricity to have hot water. That's only in Winnebago products, that coach heater. Of course, you got your defrost fans. A factory CD player. It's got a slide-out tray for the passenger. You know, this is a lot of motor home for under $25,000, folks. And if you want to pull the NADA, this thing's the lowest-priced 2003 Atasca Sunrise on the Internet by $10,000. It's probably... 14 15 grand under NADA. I've got some printouts I'll show you here in a minute. But you can quote me on that, folks. This is the lowest price 2003 Atasca Sunrise 34D on the internet by $10,000. You know, we just don't say we're the lowest price. We have the lowest prices on the internet at Parkway RV Center. We prove it, folks. And as we step back here, uh, the TV's been upgraded to an HD TV. You don't have to worry about doing that. Uh, here's your little inverter right here so you can plug stuff up while you're going down the road without having to run the generator if you don't want to, like a TV or a laptop or something like that. This is a switchover box. This way, if you've got a Blu-ray player up here, you can actually watch the Blu-ray movie in the rear TV instead of having to buy two Blu-ray players. You only need one set of components. And of course, it's just storage for any components you want to add. You know, when you buy this RV, folks, we, we've got an extensive checklist that my RV techs go over on this RV after purchase. And what we do, we make sure all the appliances work. We make sure the generator works, the refrigerator, the air conditioners, the roof airs. We make sure the furnaces work. Uh, we make sure all the lights, cabinets work. Like I said, folks, we, we can't make a 2003 a brand new one, but we will make sure everything functions like it's supposed to so that when you pick it up, we'll go through the RV, show you everything works. We check plumbing. We, we safety check the LP systems. We try to do as much as we can, and we do it and still see the RV less than any other one in the country. You know, what's neat about it, this is a power sleeper sofa, and I believe it works. So it's real easy to make the, if you've got gas staying over, you just push a button and there's their bed, which is really neat. And of course you can look under the window. I know a lot of dealers don't like to show you that because that's where a lot of them leak, but uh, no problems here. It's got day night shades in all the windows. The table booth makes a bed. And you can see the NADAs right here. No options, just adjusting for the mileage. $38,703. 2003 Atasca Sunrise 34D workhorse, folks. 38. So according to the NADA, I need to sell this RV for $38,700. Of course, I don't ever listen to what people tell me to do, so that's why I got it for $24,900 instead of $38,000. If you look online, the lowest price one you're going to find is over $34,000. And plus, it's a dealer that's going to charge you fees like dock fees, prep fees, dealer fees, fees that we don't charge. So that's going to add another $1,500, grand to the price that we don't charge. So basically, other dealers want $35,000, grand. Our price is $24,900. And of course, I've got the NADA with options. Now, let me clarify something on this NADA, folks. You know, I know I've seen a lot of people that publish these in their ads. You don't add for air conditioner. You don't add for furnace. You couldn't buy this motorhome brand new in 2003 without a water heater, without air conditioners, without an awning, without a furnace. You couldn't buy it uh, without any of that stuff. But I see a lot of people adding that to the NADA values, and they're really overvaluing their RVs. And, folks, we don't do that here. 
I mean, what you see, you know, we don't have to because our units are priced so far under book. You can see when this RV was new, it was $106,000. And I didn't even add for the slide toppers, which I should have. But we're at 41,288 and 349. Now, folks, when you look at it, that's, let's see, 41 grand from 25, or 41 minus 25, that's, what is that, 16, $16,000 under NADA retail? 13,000 under NADA base retail? You're only going to find a deal like this at Parkway RV Center. And if you don't call us, if you don't let us know you're interested in it, somebody else will buy it i mean we sell so many rvs we sell over 500 rvs a year because of our prices folks keep that in mind this unit's on a, going to be about 20 different websites including ebay rv trader uh, and a bunch of other websites we're a certified power seller on ebay and we have hundreds of positive feedbacks you can check out our google plus listing uh, we've got dozens of customer testimonials from people that drove all over the country to buy rvs from us and, you know, we're not going to risk that excellent hard-earned reputation just to sell a 2003 Atasca Sunrise. It's not worth it to sell a 1,000 2003 Atasca Sunrises. So this is the lowest priced one on the Internet. Everything's going to function like it's supposed to. You're going to get a nice RV. You're going to save a lot of money. Uh, Corey and countertops. Of course, you got the porcelain enamel sink, uh, stovetop, oven, microwave, nor cold two-way RV refrigerator freezer with ice maker now I haven't had this on very long but let's I just like to show people this and other dealers don't do this I don't know why negative six in the freezer and 45 in the refrigerator I just like it's supposed to be just like spec and of course we'll run it on gas too I've got it on electric we'll run it on gas for several hours to make sure it gets to operating temp oh the roof there because I just don't want you to take my word that it's ice cold. I want to prove it to you. Just like I do with the NADAs. 32 degrees, folks. Can't ask for much colder than that. That's the front unit. And I'll check the rear one when we get back to the bedroom. Uh, hardwood floors here in the kitchen area. Got a slide-out pantry. So this right here should hold all your canned goods. Once I unlock it, I will. You know, this is all solid hardwood cabinets. Winnebago has their own cabinet shop. They have a custom-built chassis made for all their RVs because they weren't happy with the aftermarket chassis that uh, they were getting from the vendors. So they actually build their own frames in-house. And their chassis, of course, are custom-built just for Winnebago products off their specifications. Everybody else just uses what's available. But, uh, you know, that's something to always remember. These things are built to last. They're built just for Winnebago. They even build their own furniture. Walk through bathroom, you've got the glass in shower with the skylight. You've got the plastic surround. You can look around the skylight. There's no leaks or leak damage. Of course, you've got a very nice size vanity, medicine cabinet, and you have a RV toilet in a private water closet. Some overhead storage, some storage down there. There's a towel rack, a vent fan, and of course duct work in here too. Here in the back, uh, you got a Queen Island bed. Notice the sliding solid pocket door for privacy. And let me show you the rear vent here. I think this air is colder than the front air. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think keeping this thing cool is going to be a problem. And I want you to notice something else too, folks. And I point this out on some of my other videos. With this carpeted headliner, you cannot hide stains in this carpeted headliner. And if you don't keep the filters changed out on your air conditioner, you get a black residue around the vents. And that black residue cannot be removed. The only way to remove that black residue is to use a, a cleaner so strong it bleaches out this carpet makes it even brighter white than it is and that's why if you ever notice when you look at a lot of these rvs with this carpeted headliner they'll either have the black residue or you'll see a bleached out ring around the vents that's where the dealer had to use such a strong cleaner that the uh, it bleached the carpet uh, headliner out but folks this unit was taken care of they obviously kept the filters changed or you'd see a residue or a bleach spot 
and uh, you know all the vents in here looks great it's a nice this is a nice motorhome it's a bargain for the money you got an HD TV back here like I said Queen Island bed there's storage underneath the bed got a big closet in the back this is a lighted closet plenty of room to hang all your stuff in here of course here's your inspection sticker it shows 2003 34d Atasca Sunrise good solid cabinets this right here is a washer and dryer compartment and they did the smart thing they didn't get a washer and dryer but if you have to have one I don't recommend them and you know if you have any questions just email me I'll tell you why I don't recommend them but but if you do want a washer and dryer we can install a brand new one for around fifteen hundred dollars just to get with your salesperson when you call and and tell them you want to add a washer and dryer to it but I don't recommend them folks I think they're a waste of money and you can do so much more at a laundromat or a washeteria than you can with one of those little 110 dryers and these things. Overhead storage, of course, that's your water hookups for your washer and dryer. Uh, adjustable shelving, you know, look how deep that is. That can hold a lot of stuff. Got some drawers right here at the foot of the bed. I'm going to tell you, this, you know, you, you look around at what's out there for 24-9 compare it to this I think you're gonna see there's no comparison other dealers you're gonna pay 24 9 for a 98 or 99 model with with two slides with a lot more miles and they won't have the workhorse chassis they'll be on the Ford workhorse is a nice upgrade because you get that Allison transmission you get a lot wider wheelbase which makes it a lot more stable going down the road and I actually had an engineer from GM tell me that the workhorse chassis is basically a diesel chassis designed for a gas motor real heavy duty everything's heavier I mean this is a motorhome that's going to last you a long time folks it's going to save you a lot of money and the good thing about it is you saw the book value you can drive this thing for two years keep it in nice condition and say you want to go to a diesel or you want to go smaller or bigger or whatever reason you have to, to get something else Put this thing on eBay or RV Trader, 24-9, get your money back out of it. It'll sell just as fast two years from now for the same money as it does today because you bought it right to begin with. Now, if you'd gone to these other dealers and paid thirty-five, thirty-six thousand dollars for the same motorhome, you couldn't say that because it, it, in two years it'll be worth 24-9. So you're going to lose money, but buying it here, buying it right the first time, you save that kind of money. And you don't have to worry about being upside down and even if you finance it great financing options are available I can get you up to 144 months with approved credit very very low rates my interest rates start as low as 3% you can't even buy a brand new motorhome and spend hundred twenty hundred thirty thousand dollars and get a, a rate as low as 3% and the reason why is because other RV dealers have learned to exploit people who want to finance RVs and what they do is they mark that interest rate up and the average interest markup is two and a half to three percent so the markup is basically what my interest rates start at uh, but what we do folks is uh, we make sure everything works and we give you an interest rate so low that you can't beat it anywhere else simply because we don't mark interest rates up these other RV dealerships they make thousands of, they make you overpay by thousands of dollars on interest alone because you figure three percent on 25 grand over a long-term loan you're that's, that's a couple of thousand dollars in higher RV payments over the life of an RV loan simply because they wanted to mark it up and make extra money but folks we treat our cut we offer financing to our customers as a courtesy not as a way to make money so interest rates as low as three percent with approved credit and financing terms up to 144 months at the lowest possible rate that we can get you with zero dealer interest rate markup and as I said before, folks, these other dealers want to charge you dock fee, prep fee, tag and title fee, temporary tag fee. They come up with different names every year. They're all 100% dealer markup and all 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. Parkway RV Center, we've been in business over 48 years. We sell over 500 used RVs a year. And you don't sell that many RVs unless you treat people right and sell a bargain. And that's why we charge no extra fees so on top of having the lowest prices on the internet, 
on top of having no extra fees and the lowest interest rates, add all that together, folks, and we're saving you ten to $15,000 on this Atasca. And that's a deal worth coming from California like many of our customers do, from New York, from Florida, from Louisiana, Texas, Washington State. We've sold all 50 states, including multiple sales to Alaska and multiple sales to Hawaii because of our prices. We've sent over 2,000 motorhomes and campers and fifth wheels all over Canada. We have sent almost 30 RVs and campers overseas to England, Italy, Australia, the Netherlands. So I assure you folks, just because you live two or three days from us, uh, two or three day drive, it's going to be worth your while. And I assure you, no matter how far away from us that you live, we've sold somebody in your area an RV or camper before because of our prices, the way we do business. Family owned and operated since 1968. We don't have any commission salespeople. That saves you money too. Because other RVs, dealers use commission salespeople. They don't pay them salary. They don't pay them by the hour. They get 25% of the gross profit of the RV as their pay. So that means that dealer who has a higher overhead, higher markup, has to mark it up an additional 25% to cover the salesman's or saleswoman's commission and it costing you thousands and thousands of dollars just because you had a salesperson. We don't have commission salespeople, folks. Our guys get paid the same every single week. It doesn't matter if you buy the RV or if you don't buy the RV because they get paid the same. They're here for your own for your benefit, the buyer's benefit, not for their own benefit like a commission salesperson. They're here to answer your questions. They're here to help you out, to schedule an appointment, to look at this RV and to help arrange delivery or pickup and folks i'm gonna tell you that's there's no selling involved with my guys because it's already the lowest price on the internet uh, if you want to see this motor home take a long serious look at it give us a call set up an appointment with one of my non-commissioned salespeople, and we'll have this unit plugged up or the generator on with the air on so you can see everything work you know if, and all i ask is that you call make an appointment folks i don't you know i don't have a, a lot that you have to go through a sales office just to browse I don't have a, you know, these corralling techniques like these other RV dealers have. You can come out and look when I'm open and look at all these RVs without even talking to somebody if you want to. So all I ask you to do, folks, in return for that is to call. If you want to take a serious look at something, call, make an appointment with one of my salespeople. This way they can have time just dedicated to you and show you this RV the way it's meant to be shown. And if you just call us, 706-965-7929 or evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. If you just want to come browse, just want to look, just because you're curious, I've got 150 RVs. You don't have to set an appointment. Just come out, look through them, browse through them. And if you have a question, folks, poke your head inside the show. It may be a little bit for one of my guys can get to you, but uh, they will eventually get to you and answer your questions. I and the reason why I'm like that, folks, is because we get a sales call every four minutes on average. Uh, we get over 100 plus emails a day and a couple of dozen appointments a day. My guys stay booked up either on the phone or out here on the lot with customers who made appointments. Uh, and for somebody, it's kind of like going to a doctor's or a dentist office. You wouldn't show up just out of the blue without an appointment. Uh, I mean, certainly the most of them will work you in, but you'll have to wait. And that's what we're trying to avoid, folks, is people waiting around 30, 40 minutes for a salesperson to get freed up who's on an appointment or on a sales call. We sell about two to 300 RVs a year, sight unseen, so they're on the phone constantly. So, And I have four salespeople. So keep that in mind. If you want to come do some serious looking, call, make an appointment. This way my guys can schedule you in, keep everybody running efficient, and make it a lot easier on you, too, since you don't have to wait. Uh, 48 years, family owned and operated. We've sold tens of thousands of motorhomes and RVs all over the country. You know, if you're interested, call us. You can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. If you want to email me directly, keep in mind I'm not in sales and I don't take sales calls or, or phone calls. All I ask people to do is email me and I'll answer you back in the evenings. I'm so busy during the day that I don't have time to, to stay on the phone like my guys do. Uh, if you can email me directly if you have questions or if you want to know why I don't like washers and dryers or anything like that, email me at bo, B-O, at parkwayrvcenter.com and I'll get back with you in a day or so. 
and answer your questions. I'll give you an honest opinion to an honest question. I don't, I don't lie. I don't hide anything, folks. You, what you see is what you get, and you get a great buy on a nice, high-quality RV. Thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.